so assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh today we are going to discuss about the remaining part of the yesterday activity mean the previous activity we configure multi area ospf v2 so last time we we have configured the multi area OS, ospf v2 and today uh, we will complete the remaining part the remaining part is regarding these questions okay these are the 10 question i i already gave you this the homework okay i hope you you try by yourself to find out the the answers but no issue i hope you already find out but you can verify your answer with my videos okay so these following question today we will encounter and we we will discuss in detail so what is the internal router what is a backbone router and so uh, with regard to this topology how many which routers are the internal router we will discuss in today uh, video okay so please uh, be with me and uh, listen very carefully so first of all we should understand what is a multi area ospf okay so multi area ospf when a large ospf area mean the single area when it is become very large if you are going to divide into a smaller area this is called multi area ospf suppose this is we have in this case we have suppose three router and some hidden routers are there so multi area basically we deployed in a network where we have more than 30 and above router 30 and above routers okay so in that network we deployed a multi area ospf okay so it is very useful for uh, for the large network and it will reduce the processing and the memory overhead of the router okay so now today we we will discuss about the following question which routers are the internal router first of all we should know what is there are four different type of ospf router the one is internal router backbone router area border router autonomous system router area border router we call abr abr okay this is we called we can abbreviate abr and this one we can abbreviate autonomous system uh, autonomous system border router okay asbr so these are the routers so these are the four different type of router in multi area ospf so first of all we should know what is internal router internal router that all of its interfaces in the same area we call internal router can you tell me what are the internal router please can you tell me now I will give you one minute okay definition I'm going to repeat again the router which has all of its interfaces in the same area we call internal router all of its interfaces in a same area we called internal router okay based on this topology which is the internal router all of its interfaces in the same area only router 2 yes you got the answer yeah router 2 so router 2 has all of its interfaces in the same area area 0 you can see you can say mr why router 1 and router 2 are not a internal router because router 1 one of its interface in area 0 other interface in area 1 so it cannot meet this requirement or okay the definition of internal router it does not meet its requirement okay so even router 3 also have the same issue one of its interface in area 0 and other interfaces are in area 2 so it is not a internal router so which one is the internal router only router 2 is the internal router you get the answer now yes now I will give you one more uh, scenario just please you you need to tell me which one is the internal router okay this is the, this is the, the scenario now in this scenario which one how many routers are in uh, are the internal routers can you tell me now in this scenario yes please yes yes please tell me tell me 
yeah okay so internal router as I explained in, uh, in, the, in the beginning of this lecture all of its interfaces in the same area I mean these are the routers if you will see all of interfaces in area 1 if you will see this is these router all of interfaces in area 51 same area and these interfaces if you will see let me select the color and these interfaces these two routers are internal router so these four router these four router and these two routers are called internal router because it meet the definition of internal router so these are the internal routers so again internal routers all of its interfaces in the same area we call internal router I hope you get the answer so now let me discuss about the second point now and open the topology again okay and the second question is which routers are the backbone router so which one which router is the backbone router so backbone router the definition of the backbone router is the router in a backbone area is called the backbone router area 0 is called the backbone router okay area 0 is called the backbone router okay so how many routers are in the backbone router how many can you tell me based on this topology based on this scenario how many routers are the backbone routers yes you can say router 2 is a backbone router because it is in area 0 but also router 1 and router 3 are all are in, uh, and router 2 all all are the backbone routers because one of it interface in the area 0 so it also meet this requirement so mean the, the routers in a backbone area is called backbone area or area 0 is called the backbone router area 0 router is called any any one of the interface in the backbone area we call the the backbone router okay so so which one router 1 router 2 and router 3 are the backbone area router okay so this is the answer for this questions for this question okay now uh, we we can go for another scenario just please tell me the answer for this scenario now so which one is the how many routers are in the backbone router backbone router yes in this scenario we have these four routers we can say they are the backbone router because all of the routers in area 0 even one of the interfaces in area 0 we call backbone router okay you get the answer now so now again we will go to the questions and uh, go to the topology again and uh, now which routers are the area border router area border router area border router so in area border router we call the the router that has the interfaces attached to a multiple areas definition so interfaces attached to a multiple areas you can see area 1 area 0 multiple areas interfaces attached to a multiple areas interfaces so two of interfaces are attached to area 0 and one interface attached to area 0 area 1 and area 0 so we call area border router it is on the border you can see so one of it its interface is in area 0 and the two interfaces are in area 1 so we will call area border router mean the multiple interfaces so one of one interface is another area and another interface is in a different area we call 
area border router so how many routers are area border router yes router 1 and router 3 are the area border router so we will say router 1 and router 3 are called the area border router ABR okay you can say ABR so ABR area border router is R1 and R3 now come to the question number 4 question number 4 so which routers are autonomous system router autonomous system router first you should know what is the definition of autonomous system then you can easily identify which one is the autonomous system router autonomous system router I will just open this one and based on this scenario this picture I will explain you what is autonomous system router autonomous system border router this router that has at least one interface attached to the external Uh, one interface tied to the external internet uh, internet work and the external network is not the part of OSPF routing okay so this part this is not the part of OSPF routing so this is called autonomous system border router so router at least the router that has at least one interface attached to the external network so this is the external network okay so this is external network so one of its interface is on the external network maybe it can be a EIGRP or some other network so it is not the part of OSPF network we call autonomous system router autonomous system border router okay in this scenario router 1 is the autonomous system border router now tell me based on this topology do we have any autonomous system border router do we have can you tell me please yes 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 you are absolutely all right yes correct 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 so none of none all active interfaces are three router connect to the OSPF area so there is no autonomous system border router all are connected with OSPF network and it is not connected with the ISP or some other uh, network domain like EIGRP or some other routing domain okay so it is not connected so we don't have any router for ASBR okay so now we can continue uh, our okay now uh, let me continue now so because I just open the, uh, the PowerPoint so rest of the question uh, we will complete through this PowerPoint presentations okay so which routers generated type 1 LSA which router generate type 1 LSA type 2 type 3 4 and 5 so these type uh, LSA type 1 LSA and uh, these are the type of LSA's see OSPF type LSA types LSA's are the building block of OSPF link state database individually they act as a database record and provide a specific OSPF network detail in combination they describe the entire topology of the OSPF network or area so basically we have these different type of LSA in OSPF 1 2 3 4 type LSA type 1 LSA type 2 3 and 4 and this is the description of the different LSA's now let go uh, let discuss one by one in detail type 1 LSA basically type 1 LSA are flood only within the area within the area is called type 1 LSA it will not go this type 1 LSA will not go beyond the area okay so type 1 LSA flood only within the area in which they originate suppose if this is type 1 LSA they will originate here type 1 LSA and type 1 within the area so type 1 LSA then type 2 LSA let me uh, uh, finish the, all these LSA's different types after that we will go to our questions and we try to find out the answer based on our 
scenario okay type 2 lsa identify the router and the network addresses of the multi access link only a dr generate a type 2 lsa designated routers generate type 2 lsa type 2 lsas are flooded within the multi access network and do not beyond the abr so it will not go beyond the abr so this is a multi access network it will just remain within the multi access network and it will not go beyond the abr okay this is type 2 lsa type 3 lsa describe a network address learned by lsa and type 3 lsas are used by the abr to advertise the network from the other areas so mean it they this abr area border router they are advertising a network they are generating a type 3 lsas type 3 lsas are used for used by the abr so who is using type 3 lsas type 3 lsas are used by the abr area border router okay so just keep it in your mind and keep the definition very concise and brief okay so this is type 3 lsas type 4 lsas are used to advertise the autonomous system border router as i told you this asbr they are going to advertise the type 4 lsas and provide a route to the asbr asbr generate type 4 lsas type 4 and type 5 lsas generated by asbr okay so these are the different type of lsas now let's discuss about our scenario so what are the type 1 lsas so which routers are generated type 1 lsas based on our topology which routers are generated type 1 lsas can you tell me please yes all ospf router generate type 1 lsas as we discuss type 1 lsas okay so type 1 lsas as we, as we discussed flooded only within the areas within the areas so so who is generating type 1 lsas all router because it within the areas they will generate so all router router 1 router 2 router 3 all the routers are connected uh, within the areas and uh, within the area because th th it, it will also generate type 1 lsas sorry router 2 generate type 1 lsa router 1 generate type 1 lsas and all router they will generate the type 1 lsas okay so which routers generated type 2 lsas yeah type 2 as we discussed type 2 lsas uh, it is between designated router generated uh, by designated router type 2 lsas generated by designated router okay so dr dr and bdr concept i will explain in detail in my next video so especially in our hidden area this hidden area all hidden router in each of the area are dr and router id is already given there if you will go and see the router id so uh, oh, it is locked so we cannot go and see so this hidden area network because it is a dr router designated router okay and they are the multi access link network okay they are multi access non broadcast nbma non broadcast multi access network so these non non broadcast multi access networks uh, are the dr uh, router and it is elected as a dr router okay so these routers mean the hidden we can say the hidden uh, so i will write the hidden routers hidden routers hidden routers in each of the area uh, hidden routers in each of the area each of the area area each of the area each of the area hidden router in each of the area how many we don't know because it is log we cannot see okay hidden router just simply write hidden router in each of the area we call uh, they, are, they, they are the one to generate the type 2 lsa now type 3 lsa so type 3 lsas are used by the abr what we discuss type 3 lsa are used by the abr area border router so who is generating type 3 lsas based on this 
topology yes abr area border router so how many area border router we have router 1 and router 3 so type 3 lsa generated by router 1 and router 3 okay so type 3 lsas are used by area border router to advertise the network from the other areas okay so this is router 1 and router 3 so these two routers are generated type 3 LSAs okay type 3 LSAs again used by ABR to advertise the network from the other area okay so now the next question which routers are generated by type 4 and type 5 LSAs in type 4 and type 5 LSAs as we discuss type 4 LSAs are used to advertise the autonomous system border router to other area and provide a route to the autonomous system border router okay uh, so we don't have the autonomous system border router so we d no uh, none of the router is generated type 4 and type 5 LSAs okay so type 4 and type 5 LSAs none of the router is generated because we don't have autonomous system border router okay because it's a OSPF network domain as we discuss here okay so how many how many inter area router does each router have how many inter area router does each router have yes inter area so inter area we have router 1 and router 3 have two inter areas and router 2 has four inter areas okay so why would there usually be the autonomous system border router in this type of network autonomous system border router is used to connect external routing domain as we discussed before autonomous system router are used to connect external routing domain so because of that one we need autonomous system border router because this is the OSPF routing domain now if we need to connect one more network here with EIGRP domain so that can be that router will act as a autonomous system border router because it is going to connect the other network domain okay I hope you understood all the answers and uh, please give me your feedback if you have any question please let me know so we can I will explain uh, in my next video uh, so stay blessed and see you in next video soon okay thank you bye